welcome everyone to space remote sensing and gis channel so uh, today we will going to discuss a very interesting topic over the multi patch features uh, how we're going to create in arcgis pro so we will going to describe in a very nice way so it will be a very helpful who want to create a 3d objects with the design in arcgis pro so that we're going to start so very first things if you see uh, you want to do the multi patch so uh, always you have to open the the 3d scene for that particular locations okay and if possible you can change your base map to a certain locations over uh, uh, like this our topographic it will take so that will be much looking better okay and uh, suppose uh, you want to search some locations where uh, we can create the, this type of uh, means, uh, the 3d some objects some locations suppose i am just going to search a certain locations in uh, here in kolkata so that is jadupur university just enter okay so i will just searching for a certain locations where i will get a good batches of building which we can uh, i can able to uh, create over there so see this is the area where uh, that are the primer city uh, that particular uh, buildings uh, is actually there so uh, you can create uh, these buildings or if you want you uh, i'll just create a new block of the particular buildings over there okay so this is just for your identifications or else if you want uh, the to open the hybrid map with this so that you can get a better idea so you can change it and you can take it up as a hybrid map for uh, the analysis the main objective is to understanding some certain locations which we having here so which we can take some buildings okay uh, that patches which will be there or rooftop whatever we having here so suppose this particular rooftop uh, roof patches whatever we have so i'm just going trying to uh, create a building over here so uh, that's why we are going to use the uh, that but here it is in imagery it is not looking that much good so it is always better uh, you can go to the topographic maps so that will be better like topographic this one which is uh, showing nearly better okay so for because when i'm drawing some polygons it is uh, much looking better so suppose uh, uh, i'm just trying to make a building uh, here okay so how we're going to create it so uh, before creating the multi patch features you just need to um, go to a certain place uh, like uh, if you you have to create a new feature class okay that multi patch feature class so how we're going to create a multi patch feature class so simply if you go uh, in in analysis not in analysis sorry you have to go to the, your catalog window so i'm just going to the catalog window and uh, you just see here here we have options in my folder i can create a new feature class so that feature class name i just give it accordingly like here uh, i will create a new feature um, under a gdp sorry uh, i will create a new feature class new feature class so you can give some name uh, suppose uh, engineering block engineering or uh, engineering block So you should not give that uh, gap here, but if we want, you can give uh, gap here also. Okay. But only thing you are remember that you have to change this as the from the polygon. You have to create it as a multi patches. Okay. So that is the important thing which you have to do it. So now uh, you just see I just giving a name as a engineering block, and I will select the multi patch. So then I will just go and click the next. I will give one attribute information. Suppose the field or you can say the name name is equal to text okay so that will be fine for me so that will be exactly fine next 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 resolutions and all will be the by default you can simply click on the finish so now you see one new multiplash feature we're going to add it in our 3d here you just see here now it's came as a engineering blocks you just said you can able to see it here okay so now uh see best 
uh, we can change this uh, base maps uh, also if you want okay it's like street maps we have and other street maps okay so whatever you feel comfortable uh, where you will get a better information so you can take that also so simply if you see that the street maps if if it is showing uh, much better if you are looking feeling much better then you can use that also okay so it is our our it depends on you what kind of base maps you will going to use okay so this will be i think uh, color will be much better uh, soothing for eyes and i can create something so i can able to see it there also okay so now uh, we will going to start the next part suppose if you see here here uh, these are the multiply patch options which will going to activate it okay so if you switch on this okay so if you just simply click on okay and you just see here you will get informations here okay so you can change the speed and according whatever the feed you want okay you can fix it all those things here so uh now uh using here if you see here you have a tool so uh nine suppose i'm giving it as a nine seventy eight feet and uh, this i will fix for the 10 feet okay and here uh, i can make uh, uh uh, you can say you just see here simply I can draw a uh, patch over here okay so let's see this is uh, just we created a reference grid okay so now we're going to create a uh, start editing over this multi patch features okay so now uh, once the grid is ready okay so you can now start editing and creating a shape of the building okay so for that you have to come to this map and then create okay uh files from edit under the edit you have to come to the create and here you need to select this particular uh 3d creations okay so here i just selected the 3d creations and see grid intersections will activate it okay so within the grid only you have to create that particular uh, multi-patch features suppose i'm just uh, roughly doing so now once you created this grid okay so then uh you have to come to this create and you have to take this multi-patch okay so and then you can create the grids cross section you can see i will take one grid section to the another grid sections uh, and like that i have to come to the end like here once i come see by default uh, that cross sections came now so here you need to do double click so once you double click you just see you will get the height of that particular building as i already selected this particular design okay so that is the way how we can create uh, a, a building of that particular area so now we want to make a uh, more other say so once you've done all this so then you can simply click on uh, finish so then this buildings is actually uh, created and if you want to more building uh this type of shapes near to this particular building so you can make uh, like that like that like that and this also and if you want to make some other shapes so that also so like water tank or something you want to put so you can keep uh, that like this way so once you've done all this uh, okay so you can make it as a save okay so this edit will will, will be saved and you want uh, some other way to uh, make more design so that also you can able to do it here now uh, you can create suppose a double uh, floor over this particular building over the top okay so that also you can make okay so you can go and take uh, the uh, this multiplex field the create 3d geometry again you can select and then uh, you can create one more small floor suppose i'm creating like this once it will come intersection by default and then just double click on this and you see this green will come you just simply drag and drag this and once you select that and you see double floor is also created so is this very interesting you can make more designing when you have a very good control over all these types of tools okay uh, so uh you want to make a more uh building a shape something like this then also you can able to create that is also very interesting so if you see here i am just going to take uh, this 
this and this one and then this one okay so if you see here by default it is taken so if you just click on this then you just see the shape will something like coming like this so that is the beautiful things over uh, this multi patch okay so if you want to create okay so see here how nicely uh, it is create uh, that particular buildings and the shapes okay so uh, this is very interesting so if you want to save this building so simply click on the save so now it will going to save your that particular data so now uh, you want to give some color of this suppose in the roof okay so that also you can give okay so you have to control uh, that color for this if this roof if you want to give then you have to come to this modify okay so under the modify you can simply type text or texture so here you will get uh, this multi patch texture so here whatever the color you want you can change accordingly but suppose for this i am taking this one and i can simply uh, put a color like this see uh, how nicely you can draw uh, this particular features like this so simply you can can save this and your your buildings uh, we will save with that particular color okay so that that is the beauty of this particular multi patch feature. similarly uh, you want to give uh, for color for this particular thing this thing okay so all these things you can add okay like that you can add or you can give a color for the roof like this okay and you can give a side color like this so uh that is the beauty of uh, this particular multi-patch features how you can control in a different way okay so this is the way or if you want to give a color this side also you can give but this is just for example i'm just going to show you so i hope uh this is a very useful video to everyone so i hope you uh, like this video so uh, you understand how to create a multi-patch features in ArcGIS Pro like that uh, in various types of different building you can create a design like this okay so uh, that's all from my side for this today's uh, lecture so in coming days we will come with a very interesting lecture for you okay so which will be benefited for everyone who is asking me about so many questions so i will try to solve all of your questions but whatever uh, is possible in your limited times i will i will just trying to do that okay so i will request everyone uh, if you like this uh, uh, channel then please subscribe and share this video to others also okay so thank you one thank you very much uh, we will uh, discuss more on on different kind of space technology okay and then uh, what is the space uh, career okay you have uh, using the different kind of space applications and obviously for remote sensing and gis career counseling and many more uh, video we will uh, we will going to launch very soon in this channel so please subscribe the channel thank you thank you very much